When your warehouse distributor doesn't have the parts in stock that you need for a job, or doesn't offer a competitive price for those parts, this can cost you precious time hunting around town for the right parts at the right price. The parts supplier has lost your business this time, but you can help them by letting them know when they've lost the sale and why. The connection tool makes this as simple as a click of a button. For this example, I've already selected my vehicle, a 2017 Buick Encore, and looked up a few air conditioning parts. Let's say in this example that I've already quoted a price for my customer, and I already have their vehicle on the hoist. But my parts distributor's price is a little too high compared to some of the other parts sellers in the area. So on this AC expansion valve kit, I'm going to make a few calls and see if I can get this cheaper. So to let my parts seller know that their price is too high, I click the drop down box and I'm going to select lost sale pricing. That's going to send a lost sale message to my parts distributor to let them know they lost the sale on this part. They're able to print up a lost sale report at the end of the month or periodically to see what parts they've lost sales on and why. In the second example, I have an AC hose assembly here. The price is fair in this case, but they're out of stock. So I click the drop down box again. This time I select lost sale insufficient quantity. So when the part seller runs the report, they can see that they've lost a couple of sales on this particular part number, and they can make the decision whether they want to keep this in stock or not. If your part seller has the correct parts in stock, then their business runs more efficiently and yours does too. With the Lost Sales button, warehouse distributors can stay in the know on which parts are moving and what they need to keep in stock. We hope this video has been informative and educational. We'll see you next time.